Hi, my name is Dan and today we're gonna continue playing Sims 2 for the PSP. I've done some stuff behind the scenes. I just took care of my sim. It's kind of boring. You don't really want to see that. What I have here now is I'm doing the goals and I just sold five secrets to Dr. Nulo and now we're gonna get a reward from Dr. Nulo. Isn't that exciting? So let's do it. Let's, let's check our reward. I kind of don't like that you have to wait for the other sim to finish their task before they talk to you. What's the bonus? Okay, what's the bonus? What just happened? He disappeared. What did he do? I'm confused. Wait, what am I gonna do now? Find doctor's hiding place. Well, I know that there's a secret room here. <laughs> you know why? Because if you move the camera, ta -da, you can see a glimpse of that room. And you can kind of see. <laughs> I don't know who, what the developer did, but you can really see that there's a doorway in this bookshelf right here. Oh, you can examine it now. There appears to be a mechanism here to open a door. Okay. Click it then. Open. What's the... Oh. Ew, 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 ew. Is that dangerous? Okay. Oh dear, it looks like you found me. Who's Dr. Dominion? <laughs> uh, I want my car back. Like a Jindo. Oh, Jindo, Mazanda Baya. Start to say something really clever. Let me enlighten you, okay? Oh, nothing to say. Has my mind control device dulled your wit? Let me explain how this is going to work. You are going to do everything I say. If you fail to do everything I say, this mind control device will drive you mad. Say you understand. I understand. Excellent, you're really clever. <laughs> now you're going to walk out this door and leave me alone. Do you understand? I understand. Then you will go about your normal life until I summon you again. Do you understand? I understand. Perfect, you may go. I will speak with you again soon. Please address me as my real name, Dr. Dewey. Goodbye, Dr. Dominion. And he disappeared again. He's kind of full of himself. <laughs> Why do you need screens just with your face? I like that the underwear changes color every time you sleep. It adds to the realism. <laughs> Even though this game is not really that into real realism, it's more on <laughs> the strange... Like, there's ghosts in my house. There's zombies outside the house. Can we also talk about the drama that's happening in this neighborhood? Like, every single household, you have a mission. Because everyone's kind of messed up. Right? And the thing is, Dr. Nulo doesn't have a bedroom. So I kind of don't understand. But, okay, let's talk to her first. Why are you in, in Dr. Dominion's house? It's Penelope Klein. Penelope Klein just said that she's here to house it while Dr. Dominion is out. So, okay, fine. <laughs> At this point, I basically have the same sleep schedule as my sim. <laughs> Which is awful. Like, I would wake up at... No, I fixed it. I fixed it. But before, I would, like, wake up at at 2 a.m. And then... By... And then I'd fall asleep again. And then I'd fall asleep at around 3. And then... I'd wake up at... 12. And then... I go to... I, I take a nap at 3 p.m. I wake up at 5 and then I don't go back to bed until 2 a.m. It was terrible. It messed. <laughs> it was. <laughs>
like most of the day I was just be feeling so sleepy <laughs> and all I did was sleep all day but now I got it covered I fixed it now I go to sleep at 12 midnight and then wake up at 8 and then if I'm not really doing anything for that day or if I'm done with my task in the morning I would be a, I would take a nap from 2 to 3 just an hour, just an hour nap cuz I don't want to mess up my sleeping schedule at night cuz it's it, you feel so tired all the time and I don't drink coffee anymore basically what I'm trying to say is that this game is so boring that I'm making it into a podcast are you guys even listening is anyone even interested so what's next in our list whoops we have to be close to Roberta the question is where is she oh is this just a fake house oh no it's just that's the thing if you go near something like that so no, right now I can select a chair but sometimes it gets confusing especially on doors on doors like if you go near it or yeah it disappears like that like now I can't select the door but I can select Roberta. <laughs> so it's kind of clunky. But not really game breaking. Okay, now we have to befriend Roberta. I'm gonna sk skip through all of this. I'm just gonna jump to when it's like done. Because it's just re it's not fun to watch. I, I, I assure you. So we found out Roberta's personal secret. She has an explicable craving to condition her hair with motor oil each morning. Okay. Kind of gross. So I just completed the goal and there's a new goal. So let's talk to Roberta. What can she take anymore? <gasps> She's a robot. <laughs> She's an actual robot. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. Spline's not reticulating. Calm down, Roberto. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong. You're really freaking me out. Maybe talking about it will help. Just say how you feel. Miserable, why? Don't we all? Well, then why don't you just leave? Leave leave this miserable life. Leave Isaac. It might be the only way for you. It might be the only way for you to be happy. <laughs> You're what? I, f I find it so funny that our sim's kind of... Her sim's kind of dumb. Like, we already know he's a robot based on the sound that she made. But okay. Okay, we're only finding out that he's a she's a robot right now. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but Isaac could never marry another human. Why not? I think so. You're the first robotic wife I've ever met. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, these women are free to make their own choices. What he meant by what? Okay. That sounds wonderful. Let me guess you wanted to get it for you. Okay. <laughs> this is actually what I'm feel feeling right now. It's like no one in this town knows how to do things for themselves. Hey, Clara, is it a curse? So I need to hack the virus off Dr. Nulo's computer so Isaac doesn't find out. Just give me time to pack up and leave. Okay. Okay, I'll... Uh, 
So if you missed all that, basically, Roberta Rosam is a robot wife created okay. by huh. her huh. husband Isaac, and mm. she wants to mm. leave, yes. but her programming forbids her. And now we have to do, <laughs> we have to go back to Doctor Nulo's house and find a programming that would help her escape her miserable life. So just gonna sneak in here. So we're currently hacking Dr. Nulo's computer, which the monitor doesn't even turn on, so I don't know how he's doing that. So liberator.exe. So we got it. Now we have to give it to Roberta and free her from the awful marriage that she didn't ask for, but was programmed to. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh, um, yes, I have it. Give me some money. It turned you into a criminal. Okay, what? Isaac never let me touch money. Give, give some to me and we'll see if I change. Okay, here's a simoleon. I just took your money. I'm free. Okay, so what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? Well, you're leaving Isaac. Actually, you know, I kind of like Isaac. Uh, she really switched up real fast, didn't she? Are you sure that's not your programming talk talking? I'm in charge of my programming now, and you know what? I think I'll stay with my husband. But if you stay, won't he expect you to obey him all the time? Okay, can't wait. Okay, you're very forgiving. Okay, good luck with that, I guess. So we freed Roberta, but she refuses to leave. So what was all of that for? Wait, we have to talk to... See, it It selects the chair. And, okay, now... Oh, I just moved it. Ooh. Okay, talk to... She's tuned up and good as new. In a berky night. She's doing this because she wants to now, not because you told her to. You'd be surprised, actually. I thought it would never happen. Mm. So, what he said is... He's happy that... Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, I don't want to see that. We freed Rosam... Now we finish that goal. And next is we have to see if see Roland Kala Kalonzo about a job. And now we have to go to the Dente's house to do even more tasks. Ah oh, crap! He went to the phone, so right now I can't talk to him because he went to the phone. And I have to wait for this animation to end and I just stand here waiting. Oh, that's okay. So I'm using it. Oh, well, not yet. What do you want? Congratulations. And you have to spend money on that. By the pool. Like a beach theme. You met at a swimming pool. Okay. She was hired to clean the pool. Okay, what's the work that she has for me? I accept her challenge. Okay, it doesn't sound bad. Tell me about planting the garden. Well, if you head back to see. Okay. 
Trainee or Lono. Ah, oh, Sin die. Hmm. You're okay. So basically, there's three jobs plant garlic seeds in the garden, clean the bathroom, and make hot dogs. To make hot dogs, we need <laughs> cooking level two, and I don't have that. Okay, let's first do the easiest task, which is to clean the bathroom. I don't care if there's someone here, I have to clean the bathroom right now. It's funny to me that games and any other game, not just The Sims 2 on the PSP, but every other game, if a toilet is dirty, everything's like covered in poop. <laughs> this is nasty. <laughs> Why does everything look like it's covered in poop? How bad does a, bad <laughs> does a toilet have to get before you clean it? There's a scratch up wedding ring lodged in Hazel's drain. Ooh, can I clean it while she's there? Yeah, get out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, ah, don't look, don't look. It's good that they don't have the feature that they have now where the sims could die out of embarrassment. Because those two would have, by the amount of times I've seen them use the bathroom. Ew, that bathtub is nasty, the house down. Or is it just the collar? So, we'll tell Roland that the bathroom's clean. Now, I want to do is go to Mumbaloa and get some garlic seeds to plant in the garden. So we have to buy garlic seeds. Garlic seeds. Do we just need one? And I'm gonna buy food too. Okay, great. Now get me back. But first, let me take care of my sim. And the underwear color of the day is... It's green! Green underwear day. So we're going to the garden now. <laughs> this garden is dark. What is this? There's a shredded swimsuit in Hazel's pool filter. Ooh, that's bad. Plan. There's a pacemaker bird in Hazel's garden. Okay, now she has garlic seeds. Um, sorry to disturb you, but can I can I talk to the guy, <laughs> please? Game, please let me talk to the guy. Oh my God, he's flashing right there. I can select him. Look at the upper upper right corner of the screen. You, I can't. Oh my God, game, please, game, please. Oh, it works. Oh my god. Oh. This makes me feel... <laughs> I don't want this. Just let me talk to the guy. Oh, now we have to wait. Oh. Are you done now? Thank god. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Oh, now I have to do it. I finished planting the garlic. Okay, I'll find another perk for that. Echibala, Hamai. Now I need cooking level 2, I think. Okay, it's already in the yummy channel. So let's just watch. <laughs> Let me just get this skill point and then I'll come back to you guys. Oh, I already got it! So let's go to the fridge. Uncook hot dogs. There's a note in Hazel's fridge. Help, my wife is starving me to death. <gasps> Nothing inconspicuous. Okay, let me select the oven. Cook the hot dogs. Um, sir, there's no hot dogs in your hands. So where's the bro? Where's the dude? If you're in the bathroom, I'm gonna barge right in. Hello, sir. I'm done with work. You can use the bathroom while <laughs> in there. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Sir. Let me select the man. Not the toilet, not the chair, not the bathtub, but the person inside it. Please. Oh, game. <laughs> you can see his face flashing. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, here's your food. Okay. So we gain 1,500 simoleons from that, which is fine. Okay, now let's talk to the murderer. 
Hazo. <gasps> we have this. I I never noticed this, but we have the same. Am I wearing the same clothes as him? Oh my god, twinsies. Ma'am, ma'am. Hazel, no. <laughs> Here we are again. Okay. Please let me talk to her. Okay. I found some disturbing stuff in your house. Okay. So I found a pacemaker bird in your flower garden. Someone lost a device that was implanted in their chest cavity? Well, there's something else too. I found a wedding ring lodged in your plumbing. Well, it was snicked up pretty badly. Well, there's something else too. I found a note. I found a note in your fridge saying, "Help! My wife is starving me to death." Signed, Gordon. <laughs> oh, my third husband, Gordon, used to leave notes like that for me. He complained about my cooking. The note looked like it was. The note looked like it was for the police. You listen here, lady. Miss Dente, look, I've shown you three pieces of evidence. The things I found make it look like you caused their deaths. Look, you'll save everyone a lot of time if you just confess. So I have to intimidate you before you'll confess? Well, then let's get into it. Oh, she wanna fight. She want a fight. Harley, we'll we'll give her a fight. <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that all these mysterious deaths are coincidence? You black out. This is like the common excuse of every, every time you see the news. And then they're like, why did they interview the, like, the murderer or the criminal? And then every time they ask him, why did you do it? They would say, I blacked out. Like, what an excuse. Okay, whatever. Okay, what about the note in the fridge? That's a long time to black out. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine burning down because of a toaster. Well, I guess this is just Sims humor because Sims die from burning. And Roland? Well, given your track record so far. Well, that didn't seem to stop the rest of your husbands from dying. What if you did it while you were blacked out? Someone was controlling her. That sounds familiar. Sometimes I can be controlled by some outside force. Yeah, maybe I think I... Maybe, maybe I think I do. I think we kind of owe him to him, don't we? Okay, we can't risk it. You'll deal with it. <laughs> so we're telling Roland. Could you tell? I don't think I can face him right now. Alright, I'll do it. You get some rest and try not to kill the moment I turn my back, okay? Wait, one more. Th yes. After you talk to Roland, come back and I'll teach you how to cook. Okay, sounds fun. But first, let's eat. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> I died! Hello and welcome to the afterlife. I'll be a Grim Reaper this evening. I'm not ready to die. We have quite a selection of Really like what? <laughs> Would you like to hear about the bargain package, the good life package, or a special gold package? 
I actually died. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Tell me about the bargain package. It only costs 100 cents. What's the catch? You come back with an empty stomach, a full bladder, and a host of other problems. Tell me about the other pack. Go. Good luck. It's worth 500 sanity points. You can come back with the sanity and all of your, uh, about half capacity. Tell me about the other packages. The gold package. This service is usually only offered to members of our elite frequent diets pro. It's only 2,000 sanity and will fill up your needs and your sanity at gold level. Hmm. Should we get... Let's just get the good life package. Okay, goodbye. And let's take care of our sim before he dies again. Oh no, that's alright. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Your fiance has a lot of dead husbands. Okay, she confessed to me. She says she blacks out. Get out while you can. Run quick. It's up to you. Follow your dreams. Yeah, whatever. Bye. And Roland leaves. And so do we. I'm gonna take care of my sim and I'll see you in a bit, guys. A few moments later. Okay, I guess I'm done with taking care of my sim. Let's continue with the with the Hazel House stuff. She doesn't have a bed. She just sleeps everywhere. She has a bed. Maybe she does love sleeping in the couch. Okay, she basically told us that if we give her some plants that we use in her garden, she will give us like a special, a rare seed. But for now, let's bury <laughs> what remains of the ex-husband. So far, all of my neighbors are crazy, but I'm the true, I'm truly the crazy one in this town because I just enter their house, enter their bathrooms while they're using the toilet, and everyone just seems to move, <laughs> and I go around helping people. Like I have a hero complex, like I'm some kind of main character in a game, or something. Okay, Dennis' suit is good and buried. Did you hear that, Den? He listens to you? Dennis, you're free. Go into the light. Is he gone? The music room is always. Go check it out. Come see me later and we'll talk about it. Alright, whatever you say. The ghost should be gone here. And now I can use this one. But I'm not gonna play music because I don't want to get copyright. I don't want this video to be blocked. Okay, hello. So how do I get into the master's bedroom without getting attacked? It's great, but I'm really concerned about the bedroom. I can't imagine why a dead guy trapped in a bedroom would be depressed. Okay. Though, what? How? Where's Dead Tree? Okay, I'll check it out. So, fill me in about this girlfriend. What happened? Oh, okay. So, the ghost in the bedroom signed up to be a test subject in Loki Beaker's experiment on the nervous system. I do know that Loki Beaker is a scientist fam the Beaker is the Beakers are a scientist family in in Strange Town and they did some experiments. In a Loki kept his nervous subject so miserable that one day one of those machines just shocked him to death. Yes, most of the really high tech machines you see in the Strange Town will only work right if you're in a good mood. What if in a bad mood and you use them? Then you will probably die some horrid death and I am not cleaning up the mess. Okay, so what can I do to help this nervous subject guy? Oh, so the ghost in this house is nervous subject? Oh, this is really opening up the lore. Okay, 
He used to wear a little charm around his neck that Annie gave him. So all you need to do is find his grave, dig up the charm, and give it to Annie to prove that he died still in love with her. Oh my god, we're going grave digging. <laughs> Where's the grave? Alright, a headstone with no name on it. Alright, deal. I'll come back when it's done. So I guess we can now travel to... Dead Tree. And help Nervous Subject who's currently haunting my bedroom. There he is. There he is. Oh, poor little... Sub... Poor little... Oh, this gate. Poor little guy. So, we have to find a way for them to leave this room. Okay, for Cersei to leave, we have to find what her husband is hiding in the house. Because she thinks that it would be like a patent worth many simoleons. And that her husband wouldn't share the simoleons to her. <laughs> Okay, that just made me more confused. Find out what Cersei is hiding from Loki. So let's intimidate her. There'll be somewhere that Loki spends a lot of time, probably somewhere in the house. Okay, I'll keep looking. So. Loki has been going to this cabinet for a while, so let's just check. Okay, don't mind me just checking your belongings in your own private home. Loki's secret patents. Loki has a secret patents for an electrical vomit recycler and fuzzy carrying case. Sounds delicious. Mm. <laughs> vomit recycler, so freaking delicious. So freaking delicious. Okay, I found the patents that you wanted. Here you go. I can't believe the patents are in his name, what you said. Well, I'm gonna accept it, because I'm used to being used. I am going to intimidate her though, so I can find out the secret. <sighs> Cersei's affair. <gasps> Cersei has been sneaking off with Dr. Dominic Nulo. Ooh. Sensational. This cul-de-sac is full of drama and tea. Of course not. When I was with Dominic, I was a different person. It's like I suddenly turned into an obedient little worker and ooh, the mind control thing. But we don't know that yet. We'll we'll act like our sim. Uh, what does that mean? In a heated EV in a visible. Okay, no problem. So whatever, let's go talk to her husband. Snitch on her. Loki weaker. I found something about Cersei that might interest you. She's having an affair with Dr. Nulo. What are you going to do now? Move out? If anyone's moving out, it's her. Go get her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's watch. Here you see a man kicking her wife out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Punch him in the gut! The flavor is divorce. Now that they're out of the room. <laughs> it's my time! Yay! Okay, okay. Yay! We got the garbage man! Yay! Thanks for rescuing me. So Thanks for rescuing me. It was good of you. Jimmy Branco. We go. We found Jimmy Branco. No problem. Oh my god, that phone ring is gonna make my... Ooh. Hey, thanks. My phone's ringing. 
Hello, slave. This is Dr. Dominion. Yes, master. I have three tasks for you to perform. Are you ready to hear them? Yes, master. Go to Isaac Grossum's house. There you will find his imagination lath, his hyper attractor, and his silly robotic wife. First, use the imagination lath to create a small statue of a cow. Then take a hold of hyper attractor and pull it free from its moorings. Then give the cow and the hyper attractor to Roberta and speak the following words to her in this order. News reader, waiter, trousers. You can just say the words by themselves or Isaac will become suspicious. Work them into a sentence. That's it. Do you understand? I understand. Then I will leave you at your work. Goodbye, slave. Oh my god, that's all our task. So we currently save Jimmy Branco. Okay, pull out Isaac's hyper attractor. We don't have creativity too though. Anyways, I'm gonna save the game right now. <laughs>